Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to modded Minecraft 1.12 playing on the Dire Wolf 20 pack. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I am over here in my power generation area. We've got a spoiler wall behind us because, well, if you notice some, some things a little bit out of continuity, well, that's because I'm slipping this video in earlier in the schedule than stuff that you're going to see tomorrow and the next day. Yep. I'm, I'm doing this out of order because we've got something very important to take care of today. A couple of whimsical things and, uh, and, and yeah, we just need to get into it. So let's turn around here and, and get right to it. So first things first, I want to show you an interesting mechanic that, um, well, we, we need in our kitchen. So when, let's say when, when, we had a little bit of an issue with Pam's Harvest Craft. It got removed from the pack inadvertently, but it got removed from the pack, which means that I lost all of my stuff, including my hamburgers. Okay. And so let's, let's take a look here. Hamburgers. Now, then it got added back. But at that point, Pam's Harvest Craft had been updated for new stuff, new recipes, new uh, kind of a nerfing a little bit. And so let's take a look at hamburger. We see that it now requires toast. Okay, it used to require toast and raw beef. Okay, that's fine. You fry it up in the skillet. You put the toast on and bada bing, bada boom. You've got a hamburger. Well, toast now requires butter. It used to just be bread and the bakeware, but now it requires butter. And butter requires, well, let's see, a saucepan, salt, and heavy cream. Yep, heavy cream requires milk and a mixing bowl. And yeah, anyway, um, I don't want to be sitting there and getting a milk, a milk bottle out of a cow every time I want a hamburger. Uh, I need this to be a little more automated. So we're going to use an interesting mechanic that is available and it starts with a milk jar and we're going to put that milk jar right there. Okay. And then I've helpfully got some cobblestone right here, like so, and then we're going to build that up just a little bit more like that. Okay. And then we're going to get a golden lasso. Okay. And then we're going to put a cow on top of that milk jar. Okay. And then we get this anvil, right? And we're going to put it right on that. And boom, we've now got a cow in a jar. Okay. Right there like that. And it slowly builds up milk. And then we can put that in our, our cooking for blockheads multi-block. And now we have automated milk in our kitchen. But we're not going to go put that in our, our, our thing quite yet. Because we've got some other stuff to do. So let's take a look over here. And we, we see we've got a few things in here. We've got some stuff from forestry. We've got some stuff from industrial foregoing. Remember that those couple of liquid meat buckets that we got out of, out of this thing right here when we didn't want to, we wanted the pink slime, right? You remember that? Yeah. So we're going to be working on something. If you've been watching dad crafts, uh, episodes, you will have noticed that he had had a slight problem with his mob farm. I think it's been fixed at this point, but, um, but, uh, yeah, we need, um, we're going to help him out some. So if he ever runs into an issue again where his mob farm just dies on him, we're going to set up something. He he really uses this liquid meat. He, he has something called meat juice, okay? And he's got a little injector. It puts it right into his, his veins. And so he's got a constant supply of food. And, um, well, we're going to set up a little secondhand meat service for him. So we're going to head over to spawn. I need to show you something over there anyway. And it's nighttime. Of course, it's nighttime. This is not what I wanted. Okay, there we go. All right, this is something that original has set up. I don't want to be here at night. Let's go back home real quick, and then we'll come back here. All uh, right, sleep. So Original has set up something there at spawn like that you just saw there. And actually we can go ahead and take our cow in a jar and we should be able to put it right there. And can we make butter now? Please, can we make butter? No. Heavy cream. 
Uh, let's see. Hamburger? Hamburger requires butter, butter, okay. We need salt. How do you get salt? I don't think we have any salt. Yep. Let's, so let's do that. Okay, and we'll put salt into the cabinet. And then we'll see if we can get heavy cream. No. No, no, no. Huh. Okay. Let me, let's just let Java Dad know we are recording. He's, he's doing something with his own bees and stuff. He's been having a lot of fun with that. So, um, well, how do we get, can we get some milk in here? No. So maybe it's not sufficient to just put that. Hmm. What if we put it up here? How about that? Well, let's see if that works. I think we've got all of our, all the stuff we need. We got a juicer up there. Yeah. How about now? No. Oh, maybe it's because we don't have a full bucket yet. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we have gotten, we've gotten rid of, of the milk jar. So we've put that down. Let's head back to spawn. Um, let's go like this and we'll see how that ends up and it puts me under here. Okay. So original has built this thing. Let's hit it. Is that no, no over here? Yes. Okay. So this is a little dome here at spawn or close to spawn. Yeah, I guess this is spawn. This is where we started. Yep. And we've got some of those, um, I don't teleportation things. They're from Draconic Evolution. He set those up for everybody's base. But what we're gonna do over here is set up the set up soaps secondhand meat juice service. Okay. So we've got supplies in here for that. We need the iron sheet metal, treated wood planks, and then we'll need a couple of ender tanks. Where is the spider? Spider, it's under here somewhere okay yeah and then we need the die fluid duct engineer's hammer servo anything else we'll just grab that i don't think we need the chest or the sturdy casing right yet okay and that spider is going to get annoying where is he but down here somewhere yep i bet it's down in here where is he? Okay, come on. Okay, come on. You can hit me through the... I don't like that. Let's let's just get him with... There we go. Okay, so he's gone. All right, not going to cause any more problems. Good. But let's come over here and set up this tank. And I think we'll just go like right here. So... I haven't done one of these from Immersive Engineering yet, so uh, now is as good a time as any, I guess. No, it doesn't go there. So we got a bunch of iron sheet metal, and I'm not sure if I've shown you that recipe yet, but it's a bunch of iron plates, so we've got our metal press back at the ranch. So, so that's what that is used for. Just throw some iron there, and, and there we go. Okay, and then we've got this structure like this, where it's three on each side and then leave it hollow and don't put a torch in it and then cover the top and then we just hit it with the hammer I should have two left over yes okay there we go all right so we've got a tank excellent and then what I want to do is set up um well we want to put some meat liquid meat into here okay so liquid meat is now in that thing and then Let's set up the ender tanks that are going to be the heart and soul of this whole operation. Okay, like that. And what do we got? We need what? Two and two. Yeah. Yep. It's going to be like that. And then two there and one there. Okay. So we're going to have input 
on one of them. Or, or output, rather. No, no, no. So we'll, we'll figure this out in just a moment. This is the way I'd set this up, though. There, there, there. So pink and magenta, I believe, or purple. Okay, so how's this going to go? You know what? I think I meant for this to be the input. So I'm going to need an input back at the ranch and then, and then the output will be right here. Okay. So let's see if we can do this and like so, and that should go into there. Yep. Okay. So it does good. And then we come over here. And then what we do is we put this here. Can we get meat directly out of it? We got two buckets in there. No. Okay, so we may need to pull this out with a fluid duct maybe. Let's do that. And oh, there's a dog getting ready to go after a sheep maybe. Let's put a hardened servo on here. And we'll set this to always on. Okay. And then we can put our ender tank right like that. Okay, good. So now we've got that has no buckets in it. Yes, because the ender, the ender network does carry some of that. Okay. So this is going to be something we send to dadcraft via the forestry, uh, all the forestry stuff. Okay, so let's take this back up to our our spawn area there, and then we'll we'll make sure we build an ender tank, and we can send the rest of of that material over there because I don't need the liquid meat, but Dadcraft does. All right, so we're gonna do this, and then notice that I've got a mailbox right here because Java Dad has put together these mailboxes. Don't have anything in there yet. But I think what we can do is pull out crafting station. Okay. And then let's make an envelope, which is that and that. Yep. A letter. Okay. To no trade station. How about dadcraft 73? Stamps needed. Okay, that's fine. We also want to put this in here. Okay. Uh, soaps. An ender tank. Let's, uh, let me figure this out off camera. I'll bring you back once I've got the letter written. All right. So let's go to the start here. Saw so you had some trouble with the mob farm. Here's an inner tank for soaps, secondhand meat juice. And I don't know how many. Okay. It just needs two stamps. Okay. And for that, let's take a look at the recipe there. You have to use the carpenter and some appetite and some paper, and then throw in a little bit of seed oil. Okay. 300 millibuckets, which is close to a stack of seeds. So we're going to get this and send it to dadcraft like so sending letters cost stamps every attachment okay okay so now what i think is we send it through our mailbox and then we'll just have to see if dadcraft gets it i hope he does all right well let's head back to the house and I need to put together another inner tank so that we can get the rest of the meat juice out of that. So I will see you back over there. All right. So we are back here over at the mob farm power generation. Uh, yeah, this thing. I'm not sure what to call this. If you got any ideas for what to call this area right here, do let me know. But we are going to mess with the mob slaughter factory a little bit here. So the pink slime tank, we want to make sure that that 
is coming out to the back and not to any of the other stuff there. And then the meat tank, we want it to come out of the top. Yep. So right there. And why would we want to do that? Well, we are going to put this thing right, right in there. And then we should be able to do this. Is that going to remove it? No. No, it does not automatically send it out to there. Okay. Okay. So, um, <laughs> well then, what we need to do, let's do this a little bit more work here, shall we? Maybe I should stand up on here. Okay. And then what we'll do is grab a fluid duct and then the servo, as you've seen me do, and then ignored. And then let's put the inner tank up here. Is this going to, it is, okay. So that should be going into the tank over at spawn, but I don't know if it's going to because, um, well, it, well, it at least goes out to the other ender tank that we've put over there. So maybe let's just turn this uh, active without redstone signal. And then we'll turn all of these lights off. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that should be going. We'll be getting pink slime in here. And then we should be seeing stuff build up over there. But let's go back to spawn. And it may be nighttime again. Oh boy. Yep. Nighttime again. Of course. Of course. So let's take a look at and see if anything is backing up here. Yeah, well, it's, it is filling up. So that's something. So I think, I think this is actually going to work. So we now have a working system for Dadcraft for when his mob farm goes all wonky. And, um, and yeah, so, so not too shabby. So maybe, maybe just maybe we end our episode over there. I wished I had brought a, a bed with me, but oh well. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And not not really lose, just this is kind of inconvenient is all. But but here we go. Let's go like this and we will turn around like so and say I hope you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing. And um, hey, Dadcraft now has a backup meat juice factory so that he doesn't have to blame us for when when his uh, mob farm stops working. So anyway, hey, link in the description box below for a public discord. So feel free to come join us and continue the conversation over there. We'd love to have you. But that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.